Hello students, I Ajay Gupta from Mechanical Engineering Department welcomes you to the zone of learning. Today you will learn about an important and interesting topic of grinding machine category that is grinding wheel nomenclature. You can say also specification or making of the grinding wheel. So let's see in detail how grinding wheel nomenclature or how grinding wheel specify. You can also say it coding, making or specification of grinding wheel. By learning this, you can properly select the grinding wheel as per the standard and application. There are many standards, but the Indian standard coding system of the grinding wheel is generally IS 515 Gen 1954 and 525 Gen 2013. It provides uniform system of coding of grinding wheels to designate their various characteristics. Coding of grinding wheel consists of six symbols. The grinding wheel can be identified by the, this six symbols that is first symbol of manufacturer abrasive that is also known as prefix it's optional if manufacturer want then they can put it. The second one is name of abrasive the third one is grain in size it's nothing but it's the size of each abrasive particle used. Fourth grade fifth structure type six bond seven manufacturer symbol of record. It is also known as suffix and it's also optional. So let's see all these things in detail. Example of grinding wheel specification according to IS 525 and 2013 is as shown in the chart. This chart contains series of characters. Each character has specific notations like first manufacturer symbol that is known as prefix second A that is abrasive type third 54 that is grain size l that is grade next five that is structure then v that is bone type and last one is manufacturer record or you can say suffix so let's see all the characters in detail which data is comes and how this is designated and what is the category of that so let's come forward first one is manufacturer symbol prefix it is optional symbol and criteria of its assignment entirely depend on the manufacturer's choice second one is abrasive type this is an alphabet symbol used to indicate the name of abrasive used a stands for aluminum oxide c stands for silicon carbide and z stands for zirconia alumina each abrasive has a special application as per the which material is to be ground whether it is ferrous or non-ferrous. Third one is grain size. This number provides idea of grain size of abrasives. It is also called grit. This number is decided on the basis of number of holes in one inch length of the sieve we used to filter the abrasive particles. Larger numbers indicate finer grain size. On the basis of grain size, abrasive particles can be categorized in four categories that is coarse, medium, fine and very fine. Grain size depends upon the quality of the material to the ground required, quality of the surface finish and hardness of the workpiece material. Fine and very fine grain is used to precision grinding. However, coarse and medium grain size is used for rough grinding. The fourth one is grade grade of the grinding will indicate hardness and tenacity of bond of abrasives it is represented by capital letter of alphabet a to z as described in the chart selection of grade depends on the hardness of the workpiece material grinding speed contact area of grinding wheel with the workpiece depending on the grade it is categorized as soft, medium and hard. In detail, these are further categorized as extremely soft or hard and very soft or hard. Hard abrasive grinding wheels blunt quickly. So these are recommended to grinding workpiece of low hardness and soft grinding wheels are recommended for hard material workpieces. Fifth one is structure. It includes number of abrasives and number of porous in unit volume. The distribution of abrasives and porous decide the structure of the grinding wheel. 
on the basis of structure grinding wheels are called close or open grinding wheel close structure is also known as dense structure in close structure the porosity between the abrasive particle is less in open structure the porosity is more generally structure of grinding wheel is coded in numbers higher number indicate open structure of grinding wheel as shown in the chart sixth one is bond type bond is the binding of abrasive particle together with the help of adhesive substances different types of bonds are resinoid rubber silicate vitrified oxychloride or metallic etc Sele selection of the bond depends on the type of grinding operation workpiece material required bond strength and contact area of the workpiece with the grinding wheel seventh and last one is manufacturer record it is also known as suffix two digit numbers are used for this symbol this is to be defined and followed by the manufacturer for his own record it is also optional depends on manufacturer the next slide shows you the complete description of the nomenclature or specification of grinding wheel so friends this is your grinding wheel this gray color is nothing but it is a abrasive particle portion and here is some section that section is metallic which is mounted on the grinding wheel spindle so as we are learning grinding wheel nomenclature so you can see here here is some notations are provided on the grinding wheel by the manufacturer so this notation is nothing but it is it will help to identify the grinding wheel and it will help to select the grinding wheel as per the proper application which material to be ground or which operations we have to perform so you can see here like 25 30 75 c 80 l 5 v there are different coding are provided so each code has a specific uh, application and each code is having specific characters so that see in detail in the next slide so this is the complete description of nomenclature or you can say specification of grinding wheel you will find all notations all notations in the chart and identify the grinding wheel as per the is standard kindly attempt the mind twister question attached through the link in the description box so that's it from this session and see you in the next video with some more in learning topics till keep learning keep growing thank you